I think it is safe to say without any sense of irony or hyperbole that Danny Dyer is the greatest actor of any generation ever. Um, regardless of the role, be it sort of a cockney cheeky chappy to sort of cockney hard man, he runs the full gambit of any sort of movie that I want to watch. So as soon as I heard that Danny Dyer had uh, signed his name to, I say as soon as, because I heard this months ago, as soon as I heard that Danny Dyer had put his name with uh, Frank's Red Hot Sauce, arguably one of the kings of hot sauces, I was severely interested with their drink, the Flager, because obviously we all know Lager is the king of beers, uh, regardless of what anybody says. Um, mixed with lime, Frank's Red Hot Sauce, which I've already said several times, and uh, a glass of ice. So yeah, you've got the ice there. The the, the, the not often seen um, Neon Raptor uh, pint pot on there. Uh, I will also be using a pretty shitty lager for this one because I'm not made of, you know, crispy boys. So uh, we get the lager in there and the glass like Sorry, yeah, all that being said, hey, it is Rowie here. It is, um, what is it? It's the fifth today, so it's bonfire night. It's a few days after my birthday. I went to Manchester for one of the days, uh, and uh, well, even though th that was the day before my birthday, I don't have two birthdays, I'm not the queen. So um, uh, so I had a day in Manchester where I went to uh, track, sure shot, cloud water, jewel, obviously filmed no footage there whatsoever. Because despite being quite a cringy guy, I actually find it really cringe when I see that sort of thing happening, like people recording it, but it's, like, uh, it's not for me. I haven't reached that level of cringe yet. I will one day, don't worry about that. And then on the second day, my actual birthday, Sunday, Sunday, the 3rd of November, I uh, had everyone around for a bit of a barbecue, a bit of uh, Imperial Stout Pong and a bit of a boogie, do you know what I mean? And so that was, uh, that was very, very fun indeed. So apologies for not posting for a little while. So here we get a lovely uh, glass of iced lager there. Then uh, we get some limes in it. It's almost like a cocktail demo, isn't it? Because uh, if you do like cocktail videos, by the way, uh, obviously this video isn't like sponsored by anyone. No one watches this shit. But if you do like cocktails, I would say there is a YouTube channel called Dave's Bar. Uh, it's my friend Dave, little little Dave Langers. I'll pop them in as well. Little to pour the lime into the glass. Um, he had a lovely little YouTube channel called Dave's Bar, which he hasn't posted on for about two or three months now. And um, I think everyone should jump on there uh, give him a little ad and comment on his videos and tell them how much we miss him and how much we want to see some more Dave's Bar content to be perfectly honest with you because it's better than this shit you know and he records it well uh, and it's charming um, so yeah so in making a flager we've got a glass of ice we've got our lager we've got some limes in there and then we've got some Frank's original red hot sauce the first time I actually made this drink I used the uh, the buffalo version which obviously has some sort of butter, clarified butter sort of thing in there. So that made it quite uh, gross. So yeah, we'll get a decent amount in there. I'll tell you what, I, I did do a video the other day of my friend Lee drinking uh, Toby Tom's anal vomit hot sauce, and he drank that neat and uh, like a fucking legend. Let's have a little taste of Frank's red hot sauce. Ooh. It's so good. It is just, I haven't got a spoon. <coughs> I famously can't handle my uh, alcohol. Well, alcohol or hot sauce. So that has uh, lit a fire in me. And there we go. We have got a delicious glass of flager. Um, Danny Dyer himself has approved this. Not this video. He doesn't know I exist. Um... But he did do a great film called Severance many, many years ago. Horror films. I think it's got a, is it Tim McKinnery from Blackadder in it? He's in it. Great, <coughs> great, great film. So yeah, let's have a little taste of Flaga in the Neon Raptor glass. Uh, I did have a one a while ago with my friend Christian and it was very, very nice indeed. But uh, yeah, I've already said that bit, haven't I? It's bonfire night, isn't it? You can hear bonfire fires, bonfires, fireworks out there. So yeah, that's enough of that nonsense. Let's get a bloody slurp, shall we? It's just so nice. Like, honestly, the first time we, uh, I say the first time, the one time me and Christian made these, uh, it's because we saw it on Instagram. I remember thinking, oh, it's going to be so gross. But uh, it's, uh, what is that? I believe there's a horrible, um, 
cocktail called a michelada, isn't it? I think that's like salt, pepper, beer. I, I think it's everything in this, but I didn't hear about it, so I hate it. But, um, but yeah, I think you should definitely give a flaga a try. Um, I might even post a recipe in the... I actually dropped one of my wedges of lime. It's on the floor now. I keep on standing on that. It's a good drink. It is a good drink. I was originally going to make these for people at my barbecue the other day. But, uh, I got pissed. I started drinking the double IPAs a bit too early in the morning. And I had them instead. So, uh, yeah. I tell you, that was an all right, very big high energy video, that one. So, uh, yeah, if you've, uh, first time watching, give your boy a like and a subscribe. It's not normally this good. Um, or, if you hated it, it's not normally this bad. Whichever, whichever one makes you hit that like and that uh, subscribe button to be perfectly honest with you but yeah thank you very much indeed for watching uh that was a flager i uh i'm not gonna lie i'm feeling a bit sick now i think i put too much hot sauce in that one <clears throat> top it up with a bit of lager in it don't worry about it i definitely could have done with more lime i wish i hadn't a dropped like a big lime chunk on the floor let's see if i can get that back up how hairy is it what a rug yeah, not that hairy. We'll get that. We'll get a bit more lime in it. That was on the floor. That's like not the 10 second rule. That's like the 6 minute 32 second rule that we have in our house. So you've got a bit more lime in there. I was thinking, I am, because obviously I have used a Cronenberg for this one, but uh, I have had macro beer on the channel before, to be fair. Um, what was I say? Yeah. <coughs> I might try and flag some other beers, like uh, a Fly PA. You know, uh, oh, it would be a fry PA, wouldn't it? A fry PA, a fripper. So uh, that would be Frank's IPA lime. I can use different hot sauces. I am a big fan of uh, the old, there you go, I've got a sticker here from him, Tubby Tom's. They do some bloody good ones. I've got a plant, I've got a bunch of his sauces that I can put in a, uh, he's got quite a nice candied jalapeno hot sauce that I could definitely put in, uh, probably an IPA to be honest with you. Ooh, I could do that at some point in the next week or so. Or like all my ideas on the channel, like that time that I tried speed eating and consumption eating, did it once. And Wingy Wednesday, said I was bringing that back this year. It's November. I said in January Wingy Wednesday was coming back. It's the end of the year now. It's obviously not coming back. But this one I'm definitely going to run with. There's no way on earth this idea will run out of steam. Mmm, <sighs> flaggers. <coughs> oh yeah if you're a fan of uh, if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe so super super appreciated and uh, yeah thank you for watching take care of yourselves and uh, I'll see you around all right see you in a bit take care like and subscribe though in a bit bye 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 bye, bye.